Hey everybody, Doc MTG here. Today is a special day. I'm gonna be talking about proxies, but before I do that, same disclaimer as the last video. Don't try to pass off proxies as counterfeit cards or real cards and try to dupe somebody and trade somebody for real cards. Don't sell proxies, especially if you don't own the art or the properties to any images that you're trying to sell. And there's other disclaimers that I will leave down in the description down below, but don't mess around with proxies. Now I do have another video about proxies. You can, I'll leave it in the description down below, but this one is a little bit different method. I'm just gonna really just cut through it a little bit faster. I'm not gonna show you guys how to defoil cards because I already went through that in the first method, but I did find out which is the best double face cards to defoil, and it's from Shadows over Innistrad. Not normal Innistrad because you'll get some weird waxy white card that won't give you the foil reflective that you're looking for like the ones from Shadows over Innistrad. So I'm not going to show anybody how to defoil cards because I already went through that in the first method. But there are definitely some new materials beside the defoiling materials and that is this. Self-adhesive shipping labels. They're full sheets from Avery pretty nice i'm probably going to be cutting out back and forth to talk about sizing because there was a lot of questions about that last time but i'll probably try to leave a uh, link to where you can buy this but yep so that one i already used and i'll show you guys what i've printed with that one but i'm not going to print out a full sheet i'll probably show you guys a quick printing process of that too but it even gives you printing tips you don't want to print on this side because obviously there's writing but you want to print on this nice clear side and as you can see it just peels off and it's pretty clear. As you're printing, you'll see, I'm not gonna print a full page just so you guys can get the understanding. It'll come out nice and dainty. So yeah, this stuff has been pretty awesome, the shipping labels. And now you don't have to use that glue that I used before, the photo mount for this method as I just fall to the floor, but I'm using something different. It is called Crystal Clear by Krylon. Super nice because obviously I'm gonna show you guys one of the ones that are printed out. Proxy that somebody asked me for is already here and since it's self-adhesive, I'm just gonna stick it on. But we need to put a special coat on the top of it so it doesn't like smear or run. So, and yeah, I also had a sizing issue, as you can see. I'm trying to print out this absent. That was also another like test run. But you don't want to test on your actual sheets. Try testing on like regular paper until you get the sizing right. But I will discuss sizing in this video. So let's talk about token sizing. I know there's usually a lot of questions for me, but it's something you really have to experiment with for your printer settings and the settings you have in whichever program you're using. Like so, I use Photoshop. And with Photoshop, you're gonna have it at a 8.5 by 11 inch paper with the pixels being 2550 by 3300. Now the pixels for the card should be, this is for Photoshop, 750 pixels by 1046 pixels and that'll give you the right size for printing onto a magic card. Now, I also use a different program online when I don't have access to Photoshop. I use something called pixlr.com. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. But with that program, the pixels of the card have to be completely different with the pixels being across at 1200 pixels by a 1674 pixel rate. Again, it's all experimentation. I suggest you do it on regular paper and just print out the border of a card. So, somebody asked for a double face card. They asked, hey, can I buy them off of you? I'm showing this as an example and I'm going to just send this to that person, but they wanted the Archangel Avison that flips. As you can see, it's all nice and crispy, all nice. I'm just gonna cut away and cut this up. All right, so once you have them cut out, you have two different things here, right? They both are peelable. So this part's a little tricky, especially with double-sided cards. Now what you wanna do is you wanna have a protective surface down because you wanna be spraying the crystal clear on. I'm just using this like illustration paper. You can use newspaper, but I just want it to be a little bit more clean. So 
we're gonna peel off the adhesive part here. Bear with me, I might have to fast forward through some parts because you have to be very careful you don't mess this up. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom it in. Then you wanna take your double face foil and try to do this real carefully. And you wanna place it right along the border, just like that. You wanna try to get any bubbles out. At the same time, you also don't want to uh, smear the card because it still doesn't have that special coating. So I'm just gonna flip it over. As you can see, it looks pretty dull on the card, right? Cool. So after that, it's gonna wanna leave that down like that. I'm gonna grab the other side, which is right here. Double face cards are extremely tricky, guys. I'm not even gonna front. I'll show you also with like a single face card. It's a lot easier, but I wanna show both processes because somebody asked for this specifically. All right. So we're gonna lay Avison down. Giggity, as Rudy would say. All right, we're gonna pick up the original card. And the hard part is now lining it up. So you have to do it real carefully. just want to drop it on top now since this is a gift and it doesn't need to be anything serious I'm just kind of doing it fast as you can see like some of the black is starting to pick up and that's what we don't want when you rub it on surfaces and stuff so you see over here I'm gonna just pick it up the ink is starting to come up because it doesn't have that special coating which I'm gonna show you guys right now with the crystal clear Krylon. Make sure you wear a mask. This stuff is very toxic. And gloves. When you're messing with this stuff, all you're gonna do is just spray it on casually. Just like that. One nice little thin coat, as you can see, is now a little bit more, has more of a shine to it. I'll just try to bring up the paper all together. But you can see now it has that foily foil consistency. So then you just want to let that dry for a little bit. But while this dries, I'm going to do another single-sided card so you can see what that looks like. All right, so we're back to this while the other one's drying. I have the single face card. So let's go ahead and do a special one for MTG Purple. He doesn't know that it is coming. He did say his like logo switch. And I was quite upset after I sent it and saw that his logo switched almost like the same day that he got the card that I sent him. So I went ahead and printed a new one. So we're just gonna peel this off. Again, carefully place it down. Come on, you sticky, sticky freaking paper. Jeez. Yeah. You can't even get like near it or it'll suck on your hand. All right, so. Obviously you want this to be this way. And then you just wanna put it on there carefully. Try to prevent any bubbles. And then you just wanna flip it over. Bam. Now that we have it like that, again, our special crystal clear. You'll just go quick one, two to it. Just like that and you're done. Then I think there is a bubble somewhere that I might have missed, but then you can see how shiny the card looks. You see that crease? I think that might have been a bubble. So I'm just showing you guys the process. If you take your time with it, you can get it 100%. Let's go ahead and do one more. Somebody asked me for a goblin token, so I went ahead and printed that as well. Ink is very expensive, guys. If you guys want to know what kind of printer I use, again, that's in the first method video which is in the description down below this stuff is sticky but we're gonna go ahead and already have a default card ready and obviously after printing them out you want them to dry a little bit there's a couple of dry times just like that nice and easy let's be crystal clear about everything i like to actually like make sure the adhesive sticks down so none of the crystal clear goes underneath it to hit the actual card. It's like a protective barrier. Then we're just gonna go spray. 
that's it. And this one is also done now. All right, so we'll come back when they're all dry and I'll show you what the results look like. And once it's dry, you wanna get all the excess film off. Now I know in the past I've said, you know, just use some scissors. That's for the other method. This method is a little bit different. So we just wanna cover that up, make sure, because with this method you don't wanna get any of the, what do you call that stuff off the crystal clear. You don't want it to get like scraped off with the blade of the scissors. So I'm doing just folding it over, grabbing my handy dandy X-Acto knife. Then real carefully, we're gonna cut around it. Go ahead and zoom in, show you guys. Just wanna cut out the film nice and easy. Now, obviously these don't have to be perfect, because like I stressed in the first part, they're proxies, they're not for sale, they're for fun. You can see if we did a nice little cut job. Just a little excess here and there. You can just peel this off. That doesn't matter anymore. You can still see the excess. Cool. So if you have excess, obviously, then you just want to do it right onto the cardboard so you can actually see where you're cutting. Once everything's cut out, you have your token. Still a little bubble there, here and there. Just wanna press those out. Take your time with it. Let it dry 100%. You just get the bubbles out with your fingers. And if you're super perfectionist, like I always say, you can take your time and make them 100%. But since these are gifts, I just wanted to show you guys the foil tokens, and let's see if we can show the foil part of it. I know it's hard with the lights. Let's try another light. No. But you can kind of see the foil. It is hard to see it on camera with these lights, but in person, I can see it. Now I'll show you the rest of them after they're all 100% ready to go. Then when you're all done, you have your proxies. I mean, I try to not make them perfect, but if you take your time making them, then you will have perfect proxies. And as you can see, double-sided. Can't really, yeah, it's a little miscut. But again, <clears throat> these I'm doing as a favor, free of charge. This is because it bothered me that MTG Purple got a new logo. So I'm gonna send this to him. Don't forget to be subscribed by hitting the button in the corner. Hit the notification bell to always be updated because who knows if I ever come up with another, another method. And as always, guys, this is Doc MTG saying peace.